Number nine, find the distance between two slits that produces the first minimum for 410 nanometer violet light at an angle of 45 degrees. So since they're talking about a minimum, we are dealing with destructive interference now. And the destructive interference formula for the two slits is given over here on the right hand side, the third one from the top. So this says that the distance between the slits or the separation between the slits will be equal to the sine of the angle between the slits and then that first order minimum, basically, will then be equal to, now careful with this, m, which represents the order, but it's going to be slightly different from the constructive one. You'll see in a second, plus one half. I don't really love this formula, but whatever. This is the one that you'll probably be working with since this is the one in the text. Um, so to find the distance, all right, we simply have to just divide out the sine of the angle. All right, so mathematically, this is not hard, right? And then we have everything we need, but here's the trick. What's the value for m? You might say, well, wait, all right, I've been doing this on the prior problems first. I plug in a value of one and okay, I'm going to go about my business. No, no. The first minimum, all right, has an m value of zero this time. So you can, th you can say first max has then an m value equal to one, but your first minimum when you're dealing with destructive interference, now this was constructive interference, is going to result when m is equal to zero now. So just try to keep that in mind. So this is technically zero plus then one half. All right. Uh, times then the wavelength of 410 nanometers, but we need that in meters. So take that and multiply it by 10 to the minus ninth. Then divide the whole thing by sine of that angle, sine of 45. All right. Take out the quackulator. And go to town. So 0 0.5 or 1 half times then 410 times 10 to the minus 9th divided by then sine of 45. Make sure that calculator is in degree mode. Equals 2 point. I've been traumatized from the prior years. As you can tell, 2.99. In terms of, is it, what, what number is this? 2.90. What am I doing? 2.90. In terms of forgetting to put the calculator in degree mode. Times then 10 to the... All right, minus seventh. And that's in terms of now meters. That's about like 29 micrometers. Uh, no, 0.29 micrometers, sorry. So it depends on what value you need there. And uh, let me just make sure I'm getting distracted. All right, I think I rounded that right. Hopefully, maybe. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one. All right, be well.